Hello once again everyone and welcome to episode 8. Before anything, I would just like to apologize. I just finished editing episode 7 and yeah, I I, I really got no excuse for the um, for the audio issue. It was a me thing, silly. And yeah, I hope you can get past that. I hope it's not too much of a problem. It does it did annoy me a lot. So yeah, I would just like to apologize because of that. And well, a lot of things we should be doing today. I think I'm gonna swap uh, these things, and we should get going. We stumbled across this city. That is the city I think we saw in the telescope that it was burning down. So yeah, let's see what's going on. It's dead people there. Everything's in flames. The flaming fist. When we would have doubt. So it is spoke. He of the unsleeping eyes. Grant me the might to carry this burden. Grant me the faith to face darkness without fear. Very well. So the flaming fist. It's uh, it's the like the guards of uh, Baldur's Gate city. What the hell's happened here? Oh, Oathbreaker. I didn't know we could do that. Get another dice for a few turquoise. Hard as fuck, dude. Let's see. He should never have been here in the first place. I'm the one that talked him into joining the fist. Hmm. Hey, what's going on? Oh. Yeah, what the hell's happened here? A massacre. Drow and goblins slaughtered the lot. Drow. Please, just leave me be. Very well. So... Yeah. I hear shouting. Someone needs help. There was a... It was like a drow goblin raid. We can... Loot all of this. Tempers are rising. Ooh. It's clear not everything you find is at your disposal. Oh, because that was a fist. Okay. Very well. Well, oh. Guys, there is a... There is a nasty barrel here beside the fire. Nobody's paying attention to that. Great God, Helm. Allow us peace in this plane and beyond. Teach us care when we will be... Uh, well, yeah. Not gonna do that. Uh, let's break it down here. Let's see what's uh, what we can find. So there is a lot of fist there. Uh, trying to get. We are going to do that. Probably. Uh, mercenary. Hey, idiot. You left a snot rack on my kitchen table. I haven't thrown it out yet. A lot of times I want to push you into a pit of snakes, but sometimes you say something so stupid and funny I think about it for days. Don't panic, let's talk when you're home, be safe out there. Very well. So yeah, this guy's not gonna make it home. Uh, let's go up there, but let's split ourselves because, you know, I'm not gonna be looking at anyone, but some people cannot jump. <laughs> Will. I don't see it. Is it outside? I don't know. We saw something though. Nothing. There's something there inside. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do something here. We're gonna stay here and we are going because I remember this now. We are going to. to rescue someone. This I'm only doing because I couldn't do it uh, first time around. 
So let's see what we can find. There's a person here. Jesus. Shadowheart is uh, about to get me out. Very well. Uh, barbarian strength. Rip the wreckage. Fling it aside. I'm gonna do this with Karlak. She's uh, some. She's got somewhat of a little resistance to fire. So shadow heart, not the same. Yeah, I'll give a... Uh, oh, because of Tomb Raider's mode. I thought he died. Oh. Yeah, this is the woman we found. No. Gods, no, no, no. You should have stayed. You should have been with me. All right. How did you two get separated? I was in our room. We had a fight. If I just kept my mouth shut about that bloody dowry, she'd still, she'd still be here. Dowry. Uh, what was that about dowry? Uh, yeah. It's for a sister's wedding. I made a stupid joke about keeping it. We argued about it for hours. Then she took the dowry and left. She said I'd never see her again. She was right. Well, uh, this isn't on you. There was no way you could have known. I'm sorry, Mary. I'm so sorry. Please, just go. I need a moment with her. Very well, then. Not very nice. So yeah, now we're gonna go here. I'm trapped. Someone open this door. Uh, try to force it open. The door gives way with a loud crack. Let's move, quickly, before the whole place collapses! There we go. Let's see if we can find anything here. Um, just that, I'm not gonna read it, it's too long. I meant to pick that up. Ah, uh, this is a Selenite uh, prayer. I'm burning myself. I know I'm blind. I'm blinded. But yeah, there's nothing else here. Let's... Let's move. Okay, so here we are. Let's uh, group. Councillor Floric, are you this is the one we free. Will. By the main God, what's become of you? A story best left for calmer days. Lol. Breathe deeply. Are you in pain? Scorched throat, a few hairs singed off, nothing a bit of time and, and fresh air can't cure. Gauntlet, a new duty calls. 
Drow have taken Grand Duke Alder Ravenguard westward, if my eyes and ears can be believed. Report to the Manip and send for reinforcements. We must find the Duke. On your command, Counselor. No, it can't be. You mean they've taken my... Yes, Will. The Drow have your father. His father, so... The Duke of Ravenguard. Um... Well, yeah, because we're a drow, we're not, like, uh, pretty familiar with Baldurian stuff. Let's see. The circumstance of my birth is no matter of pride for neither me nor my father. But pride is no reason to refuse help to my own flesh and blood. How can we help? Rescue Raven Guard from his drow captors. Baldur's Gate needs him now more than ever. Trust us to see it through, Counselor. Very well. Oathbreaker. Mm. Now let's uh, let's help. Thank you. Our when the proofs. Grand Duke returns to the city, he'll hail his only son, a hero. Go. You should pick up the drow trail with ease. I will seek reinforcements and join you when I can. Remember, Will, courage is found in the battle against fear, not in the defeat of it. So father said. I won't soon forget. Fist to work. Whoa. Yeah, you look at this. This is, uh, this is our first blue thingy. And this is... Uh, this we are going to give to Shadowheart. We're gonna try and follow that um, electric thunder build I was talking about before. And yeah, we're gonna pick this one because it's uh, the, the trident sort of thing because it's um, it's the one you can use with the shield. So there Wits and blades always sharp. should be. Gonna switch that to this. There we go. And I believe I had something for her as well. I'm not quite sure. No. But yeah, we'll see how this goes eventually. As I told you, it's more of a level five thing uh, when we're gonna get to see the potential of that. Shit. You can put distance between you and yesterday, but you'll never leave it fully behind. Father's words. Hard to argue with them. Floric spoke true. I'm a Grand Duke's son. Well, he's not what just do you any make of Grand it? Duke. He's Alder Ravenguard. The most influential Duke in the city. Hmm. Uh, were you close to your father at all? So yeah, I want to unravel as much as Will's story as I can because this is a character I kind of left a lot behind. My first run. I was close to him once, until he disowned me and cast me out of Baldur's Gate. I can't tell you more. The pact forbids it. My lips are quite literally sealed. He made me an exile. That said. I'm not about to let him suffer at the hands of his captors. Um, what do you think the drow want with your father? I've been asking myself the same question. What makes a Duke of Baldur's Gate so interesting to the drow? Even the houses of Men's Oberanzen would have little use for my father. No, this is no drow plot. These absolute nutters, these true souls are behind his abduction. His absence alone will sow chaos in the city. If they were to infect him, he could lead Baldur's Gate to ruin. All the more reason to find him. The absolute has seized not just my father, but the future of the Sword Coast. Very well. I'm all for it. Let's see if we have something else to... The 
well now. But we're gonna be unraveling a lot of a story uh, as we go. We're gonna do one of these. Have to do. Okay. Mm, I really hope they jump as well. Well, as long as they don't get burnt. He got blinded. Another prayer. Now, so this is the place we were before. Okay. That explains that we don't really have to do anything here. That's the place that exploded. Yeah, no, nothing really worth it there. Got lots of stuff here. Yeah, no, we shouldn't be coming this way. We're going just gonna get hurt. And I don't have more rests. We can still uh, loot some of this, I guess. Right. Wait, why is she still here? Everyone's gone. Hmm? I promise my shield and my sword, Vigilant One. Let them be my courage. Well, we can't do anything. I don't know why she's still there. Anyway. I probably should do, like, a potion or something. Uh, yeah. And over here we got uh, our oh, Rogan's associates, the guys with the cargo that we saved. It's here. Okay. Let me just check. I'm not missing anything. Mm. Okay. Let's see. What a bunch of idiots, man. <laughs> That's curious. Whoa. There we got chest. Oh man, sometimes these things bugged. I'm not really sure why. See if I can put another character or something. It's good to be alive. Well, where am I needed? Nope. Well, not as bad as what is one um, chance that we don't pick up? Some barrels with water there. Tanox. Oh. The ox tenses, horns lowered in your direction. Hmm. Uh, animal handling. This is so wisdom. I mean, we got will. Okay. His hide twitches, every muscle primed to bolt. He's terrified. Okay, so oh, I can't really. I wanted to 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 get out and just will. Uh, come on. Okay. The ox calms. 
his tail swishing a satisfied arc. Yeah, let me check the sound is not weird again. Okay, we're good. <laughs> uh, mistakes have been made, huh? Let's uh, take Will. Do this. Mm. You're not one of them. The fact that you can talk to any animal, dude, it's insane. Uh, what happened An here? Attack. Monsters, little ones, and taller ones. They took the shiny one. He killed many. Uh, did you kill the goblin in the stable? Yes, it was screaming. Weaving around its metal. I made him stop screaming. Uh, yeah, good boy. Uh, do you know the dead ox outside? Him? He was the biggest. No, I'm the biggest. Very well, I think you are the one in charge here now. Mine's never quiet. So yeah, we got the, the thing here. This is the spot Rugen marked. Right. Not much. Game's been a bit too buggy lately. You spot a man crouching between the shelves, just as he spots you. I am beside a <laughs> fire barrel. Uh, uh, yeah, the password, Little Serpent, Long Shadow. Oh, hell, dwarfs. I thought you were flaming fist. Well, down you go, then. They'll be on it soon, so if you're looking to trade, you'd best be quick. Entrance is hidden behind the wardrobe. Here's the key. Very well. Wait, wait, he thought we were fists, so they are more likely to be, like, Bad people or thieves, like a th guild of thieves, something like that. Okay, here it is. It's an under passage. Let's see. A lot of uh, s supplies here. That's good. We should get all of those things always. There you go. But yeah, it's a lot of stuff, so it's clearly a, a guild of thieves. This is the key? Yeah. Look at that. Hidden stairs. Ah. Oh. It's something I didn't do. Oh, we got a TP. It's something I didn't do because the guys died on my first run. It's an auto saving. Nice. Someone's looking that way. Oof, I'm all wait. Oh. That's far enough. What's your business down here? Answer honestly, and maybe we'll kill you clean. Hey, well, that's the guy. Hold on, that's the last who saved us from the gnolls. Yeah. Let her in. You revealed our location. That tongue gets any looser, Rugen. I'll cut it out. Come down then. Seems you're a friend of the family. Very well. But yeah, I'm gonna send some stuff. I don't think we're gonna have any use to this level one uh, scrolls and whatnot. So I'm just gonna I'm gonna send all all of this. Yep. Mm, 
I got two of these. I don't know why I'm keeping one, to be honest. But yeah, let's sell it. Uh, let's set it to the words. That doesn't. Yeah. I forgot to do the the actual thingy and just send this to someone else. Oh, perception. Might be a trap. Ah, oh, but it must be deactivated because we're friends now with the with the thieves. Yeah. Don't get comfortable. Well, it's the paintings. Uh, this is a merchant, I think. Okay, let's see. Well, don't you Perception failed. <laughs> Want your portrait done? If you have the gold, my pet artist will make you a most heroical likeness. Pet artist. You have a pet artist? Let's say we're his patrons, yeah? Found him wandering the wilds alone. He needs protection. And if his paintings cover our costs, so much the better, eh? Okay, that, that's weird. Sounds a bit more like kidnapping. Uh, I'll take a portrait then. I want to see what uh, I want to see what this is about. Mm. You've got an eye for quality. Every noble in Baldur's Gate will be after one of these. Tell him I sent you, and if he stains it up with his sniffling, there'll be hell to pay. Okay, but is he a, a trader? Something I can help you with. I'm here to buy you prisoner. What the hell? Can I do that? I mean. I doubt you've got that kind of dosh line about. A thousand. I mean, we can free him or something, something paladin to do. Uh, plenty of steel. No, we're not going to do that because we don't want to start fights. Let's do that. Ah, oh, 15. God damn it. Do I have inspiration or something? Yeah, okay, let's use one. If it doesn't go well, I'm not gonna do another. There we go. Alright, so maybe I was fishing. No fooling you. I mean, 600 at least. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do it. He's all yours. Don't forget to feed him. He balls something proper. Okay. Uh, but before that, let's see if we can trade. Alright, back already. Fancy that? So do I. We got a lot of stuff. I wonder if I can sell the tr the the wares. Uh, although I, yeah, it seems like the stuff I sent to lay sell is not gonna. It's not gonna be for sale. Hmm. Got a crate. Why do I have a crate? Okay, you can sell that. These arrows are somewhat useful at some points, but. I guess it doesn't really matter. Should be making some money. We are kind of getting poor. Because the thing is, these things can be useful at some point. I guess it depends a lot though. I got this hammer. That we're not going to use. Okay. He doesn't have much stuff though. Uh, I mean, here. Yeah. Can't show you the good stuff till Zaris gives the say so mind. Friends of the Zen only. Okay. I made a bucket of coins off him. See the painter? Oscar. I met an Oscar once. I can't say I've ever been bought before. How much did I fetch? Uh, a thousand. No, don't tell me. There's nothing so depressing as learning <laughs> one's true value. Well, you should at least know what you've paid for. I am the Oscar Fevras, at your service. 
Okay. <laughs> I know how are you. <laughs> uh, my slaves do not speak until they are spoken to. Hard as fuck, dude. Will I give me a word? Uh, what would you do with your freedom? Yeah, let's do that, paladin style. Oh, run crying back to my patron, I expect. My betrothed, I should say. Assuming Lady Janeth still wishes to marry me after our little um, falling out. Lady. Who's Lady Janeth? A noble woman of passion, refinement, and, as it turns out, quite ferocious temper. The latter I learned only after the engagement, when I told her I was in love with someone else. I made a timely retreat into the countryside to paint and clear my head. To choose, I suppose. So not only there was a noble woman uh, wanting to marry this guy, <laughs> but he escaped the wedding, apparently. A truly horrifying dilemma. Indeed. Want to split the very soul. But I don't dwell on it any longer lest I weep. And we have your reward to consider. Once I have made my way safely back to the city. Say, you... I don't suppose you could spare some coin, could you? Ease the discomforts of the road some. I just wasted a thousand. I'm not gonna give him money. Well, it's 200, but... You know, we gave him his freedom. I have nothing to give. No coin? Mightily imprudent of you. I suppose I can endure the walk sober. Suffering has become an old friend, after all. Until Baldur's Gate, then. Very well. We, we want to see a lot of people in Baldur's Gate, it seems. Uh, I'm guessing I cannot really, like, steal anything from here. Yeah, let's have a look. This is the boss lady. I owe you one for saving my people. The Zentarim look out for their own. Even if it's Rugen. That's worth some coin. And my thanks. I should our give her something. can show you some of our more exotic items now. But don't delay. Oh. This place is likely to be rubble soon. Rubble, what are you planning to do? Someone kidnapped a duke right on our bloody doorstep. The flaming fist will need someone to blame. I don't plan on it being us. So they're gonna oh, ballista. I mean, a crossbow. The same word in Spanish, that's why I confused. Uh, okay. What about this guy? That drink I promised will have to wait. We're moving out. The elf songs, my local. Look me up if you're in the city. So, more things to do in Baldur's Gate. But yeah, they're gonna blow the whole thing up, apparently. But yeah, this is uh, a guild of thieves, pretty, pretty clearly. Picking up some some stuff, some edible stuff. Okay. Hmm. Oh, that connects. Okay. Let's see. Let's see if we can find something else in this area. So that's where we came from. And that's the turn around there. But yeah, we came from there. That's the boss lady over there. No. Curious. I assume you guys don't get mad if I take this one.
It was red though. frightened of something my fear is hardly irrational when you see the fangs on those things I suppose you've noticed I'm not terribly fond of wolves they're ravenous predators with fangs like daggers it's hardly an irrational fear to harbor you've been decent to me so far maybe if you can don't make me face any more of them at least not alone. Okay. Uh, okay, let's be like understandable. I'll try to avoid wolves in the future uh, where possible. Thank you. I had a feeling you'd be understanding. And the story of the little alpha. Oh, we're gonna get to that. As I said, there are gonna be a couple of episodes in which we are gonna be like focusing mainly on on dialogue. Oh yeah, I c no, I cannot get in here because it's uh, it's like red. Hmm. Huh? I guess it's a hole. If you're a droid, you can maybe get like inside. Uh, it says in the map we can come out from somewhere else. Uh. Oh. Illusion. Illusory world. This is a lift elevator. It's locked. Sharp as ever. I'll see what I can do. Okay. So yeah, the map can connect a lot of ways, it seems. Wait, this is not an exit. We're going down. You shitting. This is a fucking underdark. I, di <laughs> I didn't know you could come from here. place to hide contraband even for a zent oh and they're <laughs> and they're hiding the stuff there dude i didn't know you could come from here that's insane giving tools trap uh defender of the people fifteen gods Oof. I have a lot of tools though I think I think I have a lot uh but I can't I don't want to use the inspiration for that still locked the magic touch. I bet, I bet it's not even going to be worth it, most of the time it isn't. Those scrolls, funny. Hells, we're on shaky ground. Uh... The air is thick with spores. They must thrive in the dark. I wonder if that's uh if that was the guys the thieves uh blowing everything up. I didn't mean to pick that up. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Yeah, this is crazy. Whoa. Tell me you hear 
that voice. They're coming. They're coming. Mm. Paladin, fill your mind with the words of your oath. Drown out the voice. Well, it's not like we follow too much our oaths, but let's see. Careful. If we can hear it, perhaps it can hear us. They're coming. You're coming. Oh, so it's calling us or something? Well, we're not going to proceed through the underdeck because... Uh, well, mainly because we've got a lot of stuff to do. And... Yeah, no, I didn't even know... You could get here from there. As I told you, like... When I encountered the... Thieves, uh, they were... Let's go to the grove. Uh, well, they died, basically. So I just looted them and... Nothing really happened. I should probably do a couple of potions here. Uh, also, also for Will. Can't give up now. And uh, this whole area, we already did mo uh, almost everything. We got that fake wall that we left, like on episode one. Hmm. But, no, actually, we should get going into matters of goblin and doing all everything that has to do with house and finding, finding the druid. So we're gonna get doing some of that. I'm gonna try to be cleaning um, as much as we can. And we also have the um, the blighted uh, no, it's not the uh, the, the Owlbear cave pending. So we got this down here. What is this? Okay, that is the merchant in the grove, the old one. Search for housing and things to do with Lysel. You know what? We're gonna do this first because we want to sort of clean as much as we can, as I said. So let's get to Ethel's house. Hmm. She told us to to go to her house. So we'll see about that. Well, in the meanwhile, you know, picking up everything. By the way, how am I with the alchemy stuff? Uh, right. Oh, so we can even do this. Right. We can do all of the stuff. But this is mostly what I care about, so... Balsam... It's what we're going to be needing. Yeah, I can finish uh, healing uh, Shadow Heart. As you can tell, my voice has not gone any better since uh, being sick. It's kinda annoying, but yeah. I mean, it is what it is. Huh? Ah, it's the goblins. There is some someone there with the dialogue. Hey, that that's the woman. Hey, Let's pick something bit me. Oh. Just an insect. I'm sure you'll survive. Besides, it probably figured you for a tasty treat. Give me an abaleth over a midge any day. Every old woman you meet. Okay, so this is the woman. What's going on? 
We don't want any trouble. Lads, for the love of all that is holy, I've never clapped eyes on your poor sister. Drop the act, hag. You was the last to see me, Rena. Just let her go. Please. Thank goodness you're here, sweetie. I, I don't know what's come over these boys. Well, what's this? Oh, inside failed. We won't ask again. So there is something here that we don't know, something that's going on and we don't know. This has nothing to do with me. Goodbye. <laughs> uh, how about just... Well, yeah, we know her. Let's do that. Lower your weapon, say no this lady. Sweetie, be careful! Carla Caprus. She's with the hag! Don't bloody stand there gaping! Get her! Oh, okay. I didn't know this was gonna happen. Well, I mean, I don't want to... I uh, didn't want to... I'm gonna have to kill them. Guys, you saw that, right? Like, they attacked first. Ah, uh, got to be damned. No holding back. Oh my stars! I I didn't mean for this to happen. Hmm. Eat an argument. Uh, Do you know this Mayrina you mentioned? She's their little sister, and she's staying. Ah, uh, so she lied to, to this them. Is my fault, but I made a promise. Marina begged me not to breathe a word if they came looking for her, and my word is my bond. Mm, that all right, poor thing would be distraught. We can't let her know it and break her poor heart. I'd best get going, but please stop by my house. I'd like to thank you proper. What? <laughs> it seems like she did. What the hell? She is a witch. Let's see. Dear Joel and Demir, don't get mad. I mean it. I'm only leaving this note so you don't panic and do something stupid. I'm going to the hack. I owe it to Connor to make things right. You know he'll do the same for me. I'll be back soon. So do not. Uh, so not a word to Mam. All right, she has enough on her plate, Marina. Well, it seems like we did the wrong thing. Okay, so we got a mark there. And actually, I forgot about this and I just mentioned it. Let's see about the Owlbear Cave. I'm going the wrong way, guys. <laughs> I kind of got lost there for a second. So yeah, we got this way and... Let's see about the Albert Cave because... I mentioned that like, I don't know, four episodes ago already, I think it's here, ah, it's here, and we didn't come and do anything, we got Will, so might be worth trying to talk to, to the Owlbear, Owlbear Nest, radio. Dead owlbear prey, no doubt. Heavy stone. What the hell? There is a Groot there. Like a t uh, I don't know, something to worship. Oh, there it is. Right, so I'm gonna take Will. I'm gonna split from the group. And I'm gonna... 
cast this. You feel the quake of its heavy footsteps before you see it. An owl bear, its beaked face looming out of the darkness. What's this? Something weak, something tender. Won't even have to chew you before I feed you to my son. Soft meat. Hmm. One eighth. That I, uh, the lack of it, must uh, must have you in a lot of pain. I should know. So I'm pretty sure the the vast majority of you watching this know that if we kill the owl bear, we get the cup. Uh, in the camp and whatnot, but uh, I really can't bring myself to do that. Not again, that is. Let's see. Scars don't make us kindred soft meat, and they don't make you welcome in my nest. You'll be missing more than your eye before I'm done. Intimidation, let me go. Or you'll watch your cup die before I finish you. Persuasion. But he's got charisma, so... You're small. Weak. Killing you would be a waste of time. I don't see the, the lance, the spear. You can go, but you make one wrong step and I'll rip you to shreds. Well, at least we got like uh, the approval. But yeah, as you can see, guys, the owl bear and the cub in this story, they get to live, and that's good. I bet you wasn't expecting that one. But yeah, I want to check this one out because I don't think I did. Uh, I wonder if I can get past... Uh, an opening here. I don't think I, I, I came this way. I also wonder if the, uh, the owl bear gets to catch us or something. But yeah, let's see. It is stinking cave. Hardly a place of honor. Okay, so Shadowheart doesn't like Selunite. There's magic at play here. A spell keeping this chest shut. It's a scroll. Um This one? No, this is the drawing. What? Where is it? Anyway. So this is a trap, most likely. Come on, guys. Do the perception. No? No one? Kill the chest. And let's see. We got something here. It's a book. An ancient tome detailing how Seluna uh, came into being along with her sister Shar. The silver radiance Seluna and the dark alluring Shar complemented each other and brought an orderly distinction between light and dark in the universe. Seluna prayer. A prayer dedicated to Seluna, imploring all the uh, all to accept the Moon Maiden's blessing and share uh, in her bounty. Okay. A prayer sheet with the same symbol as the one on the chest. Ah, very well. So maybe we can open it with uh, with the prayer. Hmm.
don't know how this is done like that. Chests unlocked. Ah, nice. A lot of stuff. You should leave it or even destroy it if possible. So yeah. But why? This rubbish is an offering to Saluna. At best, it's worthless. At worst, who knows? Could be cursed. Do not trifle with that moon witch or her trinkets. Only trouble will follow. Hmm. Best friend persuader. Uh, we can just abandon. Uh, we can't just abandon resources that we might need. Be sensible. Let's do that. All right. Fine. Perhaps you can sell them for a couple of coins. But she really doesn't like it. Oh, and you see, like, uh, her wound reacted to that. This tome describes the ancient initiation rites observed by some who worship the moon goddess, Saluna. When a youngster came of age, they would be left to fend for themselves deep in the wilds. There, they would show their skills of navigation and self-reliance, as well as their determination to return to the moon maiden's silvery glow. Once they found their way back to their people, their faith and standing as uh, a follower of Seluna would be beyond any doubt. Worthless. Mm. But yeah, Shadowheart doesn't really like that. Yeah, and the owl bear is over there, so we're gonna make our leap. It seems like we didn't get much from the cave, and I've been talking about it for a while now. But you know, something good that we do. A lot of bad stuff is probably coming our way. But yeah, we've seen that, so from here, we're gonna continue towards uh, Ethel's house. She's quite clearly a witch. I mean, she did a uh, ba uh, banished uh, as she was leaving, and yeah, we probably killed innocent people. Like, I mean, certainly they were just looking for her, uh, his sister, and well, <laughs> you know, that's pretty usual. Mistakes have been made, lads. Loving note. Nighty. The note to say. Chill runs up your spine. You feel like you're being watched. Uh, investigation. Look for anything out of the ordinary. I got a minus one in. Uh, and you need a critical. Well. No, I'm not gonna use my inspiration on that. Sense of calm. You can't see anything strange. Very well. Take a breather, loveliest, and have a bite to eat on me, Auntie E. So this is Ethel. 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 I don't really know how to pronounce that. Uh. Oh, there must be a trap somewhere. Hot foot, hot foot. Place is trapped. Damn it. There's a few things over there. 
Well, that's it's pretty clear what happened here. Look, Red Apple have eaten Apple and, well, a lot of blood. Very well. Mm, nice. I am overweight, guys. Let's send some stuff to someone else. We can go over there. I mean, this area is quite explorable, so we'll see what what we got. Droid Sanctuary. Oh, there is any uh, gorgoyles looking. I guess we fight. Oh, yeah. Ah, oh, there's lots of them. What the hell? Okay guys, sorry to um, cut mid-fight, uh, the right beginning of the fight, but I had to load, uh, to load the save because I realized I forgot something quite important and I couldn't leave it behind. So I'm gonna explain it, I wanna explain you what I did. Um, I don't know if you remember, we just saw it and um, in the Thief of Guild, uh, in the Guild of Thieves, sorry. Um, now we were not allowed to buy the good stuff from the merchant until we talked to the, to the boss lady, to, I forgot the name already, but yeah, that's because uh, once we, you know, we talk to the boss and they like us and whatnot. Uh, we unlock more things from that merchant. And that is something I actually needed to do so I could get Shadowheart this armor. Which is the, um, the Jolty Vest. So you see. Um, it's a Spark uh, Thunder sort of armor. And with that, we got the spear and we got the vest. And then that's, uh, you know, we got the build going. And I almost forget about that. So I had to go back real quick and do that. Uh, so yeah, we had a fight here and we're going to get to that. Oh yeah, and also from that same merchant, I got for myself... Uh, well, no, this is uh, the reward that the boss lady gave us. And for Karlak, from that merchant, I bought this one. So, you see, we don't really have much gold left out of 2,000 that we had. But I think it's going to be worth it, especially for Shadowheart. But yeah, let's get here and let's get fighting these this people, these guys. I'm the only one in the fight, it seems. Okay. Okay, there it is. So let's see how we manage this. The ancients apparently are the ones that we want to kill. Because that way we get the other ones killed. It's because of water, right? Yeah. Mm. Too bad. And these things explode and deal damage, that's, that's why it's so bad about them. Let's get going towards these guys already. As for Will, 
I really could like to engage the um, the other spell. Oh, come on, dude! Really? But yeah, he doesn't have any strength to jump. I really could like to engage with this guy. They they got more HP. spawning the young ones that's not good yeah mostly for that really we, we want to kill the ancient ones but yeah taking a defensive this guy's probably hit hard and car likes also way behind Not have enough movement. Well, let's try the the new bow. Pretty terrible. Talk to me. I cannot cast blessing that far away. Can I? Yeah. Let's see if I can jump. I'm assuming I cannot cast anything else yet. are too young it made damage to that one mm, I cannot move okay they're getting closer never mind Let's see if I'm right about that. It's gonna be left that HP. Keep summoning. And I'm gonna risk it and I'm gonna cast it on this guy. Well, no, the young one's still there. But at least they cannot ca uh, summon them, I think. <laughs> Don't miss it, please. Completely missed. Another fight. Let's go. Uh, disadvantages because I'm immobilized. Can I at least daze him? Mm. It's not looking good. Damn. And I guess the friends, they should have done it at the beginning.
yeah. Mm, not really much we can do with Shadowheart. Yeah, I promise you. Oh, damn. By level 5, it's gonna be a different story. I wonder if I can throw the healing ward this far. Right. to get some damage on the three people because well they just have more HP damn that's not good There's that. My faith will protect me. And I should probably heal myself. Although this is a melee heal, yeah. Take your heal. Mm. Let's try the trident. It's new. Brilliant. Missed. Yeah, we're just about to die. Never a dull moment. Well, I cannot. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, good. Can I jump that far? Can I? God damn it. Yeah, I don't have enough movement. Uh, can I do anything besides that? Doesn't seem like I can. Can't afford to let up. This is not gonna do anything, is it? Yeah. I'm dead. And it missed. Damn it, dude. Just one more. I cannot move. Yeah, but if I move here, like I lose my thingy. Yeah. God, it's hot in here. Okay, finally. I don't have rest, do I? No. I'm sure I can just do... No. So maybe just one of the potions that I just made. Uh... You know, just a little. Just so I can... Yep. We probably should. Yeah, pretty pretty weird fight. Uh, if you're playing on a higher difficulty, it's probably very difficult. Oh, 
Let's see. Plus two. Um. Yeah, let's give it to her. You well? At least things have stayed interesting. Spargo hands. Well, um, conductive strikes. When I hit with uh, an arm attack, the war gains two lightning charges. Effective transmitter while imbued with lightning charges attacks against metal constructs and foes wearing metal armor again uh, gain advantage. So if they got metal armor, you get two hits in. And it's lining, so we are going to also give that to Shadow Heart. And you see now how the build is coming together. Sorry to insist on that, but yeah, by level 5 it's gonna be brilliant. Intestines throb, blood whispers. Mm. Someone notched this tree. Wonder why? Well, I'm gonna go alone because I don't want them to step on the on the veins. Bollocks. Let me get out of here, and now I'm gonna check it out. Hmm. No. Ah, uh, so that's on so, uh, that's on the mission stuff then. Very well. Uh, we probably should rest. That's uh, probably the best idea. Yeah, I'm on the water anyway. Drop disarming tools, and I am overweight again. Yeah, that's because I'm picking up this stuff. Um, we really have a lot of stuff that I should be selling, like... It's not really gonna be any useful. These arrows we can use, but, you know, it's whatever, really. Okay. Slowly through the water. And our thing is over there, so we should probably uh, go around. But yeah, it's pretty clear by now that Ethel is a witch. And we certainly did the wrong thing. Everybody failed it. It must be here.
and here we are this is our destination and i think we are past the, uh, the time already so yeah next episode we're gonna get to meet with ethel and see uh well what what we can find about that about her like she's clearly a witch <laughs> and we just killed two innocent people i'm probably gonna go rest and we're gonna continue that but yeah once again thank you so much for making it this far into the video and uh, really appreciate it in the screen you're gonna be showing two videos so go check them out remember comment like subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thank you so much